Okay, we're going to use uh, SolidWorks uh, to create the dovetail slide, and it, it will be figure 5 48. So, first thing I need to do is double click on SolidWorks. It may take an, a second or two to do that, to bring it up. But you should have a SolidWorks 2010 icon on your computer. And as it comes up, um, we've got a, the uh, uh, the top bar here, which is uh, for file and uh, some different things. So we're going to go over here and go to new. And here we have part, assembly, and drawing. So we'll pick out part. It is a part that we're going to do. Over here we've got the tree. We've got some different... Uh, commands that we've got and we've got uh, features and stretch that's what we're going to use mostly and some uh, drop downs right in here we're going to draw this on the right plane so I'm going to go to sketch and um, I'm going to go to the right plane and after I pick that I'm going to go ahead and with this drop down the view orientation and I'm going to get to the right view so it squares us up now the whole idea behind the sketching is is simply to give it its general shape. We're not going to draw it exactly and I'm just simply going to go to the line command. And I'm not going to go to point zero zero. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. And I'm going to draw that approximately four inches long. That's what it's long, uh, supposed to be at the base. So I'll pick that, hold it down, and I come up approximately one and one half inches and approximately in one inch it's not going to be exact approximately out at about a 45 degree angle and then we're going to come over here four inches approximately back in at around 45 degrees and you can see this is not uh, the exact shape in other words I those measurements are not correct but what I want to do from there is I'll go up here to Smart Dimension and I'm going to go ahead and lock this line in and what I'm doing is I'm locking that point in right there. I'm going to give it a dimension. I pull that down and pop it down and when that does that I have this pop up. I can put in the exact dimension here or I can put it in here. But I'm going to put the uh, proper dimension in here at 4 inches and then I can hit the save that value here I can save that value here. I can save that value here. I'll save it here. And I'm also going to do the same thing right there. Lock it down. Put in 1.5. And hit OK. I'm also going to lock this, this, these, this point in. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to pick this point here. I'm also going to pick this point here as I hold down control. I'll escape out of that. Hold control down, pick. Hold control while control is still down. I pick out those two. Those two points show up right here. And uh, I want those points, that point here and there to be the same, so I'll hit coincident. And that locks it in. The other thing you'll notice is this line here went black and this line here went black. That means this line can be adjusted for length, but this corner will not change. So I'm going to go on to Smart Dimension. And to do an angle, I simply pick here and here. Smart Dimension, excuse me. Here, escape it. Smart Dimension, here. Here and I have an angle. Pick that down and 45 degrees is correct so I'm going to leave it there. I will then um, come over here and make this dimension at 4 inches. Hit OK. I'm going to do these two angles here, here, and here and that is correct. And I've got to make this right here also. 
That's 1.5. That should center that thing right there, and that automatically made that 4. Okay. One of the last one I've got to do here is I believe I've got to bring this down, and that's also got to be 1. And this one here it has to be a 1. So there's my sketch. Okay, sketch is complete. So I like it. So I'm going to go back up here to features, and I'm going to extruded boss base. When I do that, you can see it turns to an isometric look, and I'm simply going to stretch this here or stretch this here. I think I'll stretch it this way. Now that distance can be stretched right there. Um, and it happens to be 8 inches long. So I'm going to type in 8 and hit OK. I off click here and that uh, item has been made. I can hit the roller bar down, look at it at any side. Okay. Uh, if I want to look at it back as an isometric then, I can simply go here to the pull down on the, uh, the views and I can hit isometric. Or I've got a trimetric. Or I've got a dimetric. Okay. So we'll go, there's your, one of the isometrics, but we will go to an isometric view like that. Okay.